Turn off the smart switch. Okay, turning off two switches. Turn on the garage light. Okay, turning the garage light on. Turn on the living room lights. Sure, turning the living room light on. Turn on the kitchen light. Sure, turning on kitchen light. Hi everyone, kumusta po? Welcome to the channel. This is a TX series smart wall switch from the brand Sunoff. So, if you haven't heard about Sunoff yet, Sunoff has been around for quite some time now, being known for making smart devices like smart switches, smart Wi-Fi plugs, they even have their own RF bridge that enables you to connect other devices such as motion sensors and door or window sensors with devices that supports 433 MHz frequency. For this video, we'll be taking a closer look at their smart wall switch right here. So basically what it does is it replaces your old conventional wall switch at your house and enables you to remotely control the switch via an app, turn on or off the switch with your voice, set schedules on what day or time each switch will turn on or off, set timer on how long a switch will remain, switch on, and other features that a smart device support and will support in the near future. This video has two parts. First, of course, we'll be doing the unboxing. Then I'll show you how to properly wire this with your lighting load. For the next video, I'll be showing you how I actually replaced one of our old conventional wall switch in our house with this smart wall switch. Then we'll explore the app that we'll be utilizing for this smart wall switch. So that was quite an introduction, so let's get started after the intro. So here is the box of the Sun of TX series smart wall switch. So what we have here is the Trigam model, you can see right here. It has a model number of TX T0US3C. Okay, so this is the model that perfectly fits the dimensions of the commonly used wall switches here in the Philippines. On the front, you can see on the upper left corner, the brand son of TX Wi-Fi Smart Wall Switch, the outline picture of the item. And on the lower part, it says it works with Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Nest, and IFEEE. On one side, it shows here Wi-Fi DIY Smart Switches, Wi-Fi Smart Wall Switches, Wi-Fi Smart Plugs, and Wi-Fi Smart Lighting. So basically, these are some of the products that SunOff is making. Okay. On the other side, it says, download the EWI Link app. So this app is the app that you'll be using for you to utilize the smart wall switch. It's available on the App Store and Google Play Store. And here is also a barcode for you to scan it and download the app. Okay. Nothing at the bottom, nothing on the top. And at the back, on the upper left corner, it says SunOff. Wi-Fi smart wall switch, the model number, the features, it has app control, voice control, smart scenes, share control, timing schedules, and LED backlight. So the picture of the smart wall switch with a smartphone right there. And on this part are the specifications. As you can see, it has an input and output voltage of 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz frequency with a maximum amperage of 6 amps. And it operates under the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi frequency. This is what's in the box. Some barcodes, company information, and other sign there. Okay, so let's open the box. Okay. So I think this is some paper bricks. This is the smart wall switch. We'll take a look at that later. Let's take a look at what's more inside the box. Of course, it has some screws in here and nothing more. These are the paper bricks. Some sun of like QC plus. Okay. So these are some paper bricks. And these are the steps on how you would wire the switch to your goods. Okay. So this is the smart wall switch. What we have here is the white model. Let's just try to peel off the protective plastic here. Okay, so there we go. So what we have here is the white model. They also have a black model for this, which I find more elegant, honestly. But I decided to go with the white model because it suits the color of our walls here in our house. Okay, so on the front part, this is uh, a tempered glass panel. So you can see right here, it's all white. This is the glass and it has a sign of print right here. And on the side, here is the reset button so you can see here and nothing more on the 
up other and, on, and on the other sides at the back you can see the terminal connections so let's just take this off okay and you can see the terminal is right there okay so this terminal is for the neutral wire this is for the main line and this are for the loads this is the load one load two and load three okay as you can see there okay so just a quick comparison guys these are the commonly used wall switches on our house as you can see there these are analog wall switches okay so as you can see um, um halos pareho naman yung size nila and also the um, screws there these are almost the same so this model is the model that you'll be choosing when you have this kind of switches on your house so next i'll be showing you guys how to properly wire this to your lighting load so since this is a smart device it requires power for it to work therefore you need to connect a neutral wire and not just a line wire unlike other conventional wall switches that we use on our house wherein you only need to, to connect a line wire here from the source and a line wire on this part from your load okay so this needs to be powered for it to operate properly so now i'll show you how to wire this with a lighting load okay first you need to connect the neutral and the line wire from your breaker or from your source before we continue just a quick reminder whenever you're working with electricity Make sure to turn off the appropriate breaker that is connected to the circuit you'll be working on. It always helps to seek assistance from a qualified person or an electrician. Use a voltage tester to double check if there really is no electrical current present in the circuit. So this will be the wire from our breaker. The white wire will be the neutral wire and the one with the electrical tape will be the line wire. Okay? So first, we'll just unscrew the screw here on the terminals. So this is where the neutral wire will be, okay? So we'll connect the neutral wire here. Okay, and this will be the line wire, okay? So once we've connected that, we'll just try to power on our source. Okay, so this already has power to it. We just need to Turn down the lights for us to see the LED on this smart switch. Okay, there we go. We already turned off our lights here. As you can see, we can clearly see the LED lights on this switch. Okay, and this part you can see here, the blinking LED lights. This is the Wi-Fi indicator light. And the three square lights LED here are the switch for your load okay so let's just test this via touch okay okay when it turns on the led lights on the switch is much brighter than when it's turned off okay right here all of the switches are turned on and we'll just turn off one at a time from the top there okay so the switch on the top is turned off as you can see the led brightness is much lower and second here okay and on the last there okay okay again let's just try to try it out okay there you go so this is already powered hindi nyo lang masyadong makikita kasi nga gawa ng lights ng equipment ko but this switch already has power delivered from the source okay so next is we need to connect the load on this terminals so you can see there okay we'll connect our lighting load on this switch so i prepared these three bulbs in here to represent the three loads okay so the wires on the lower part will be the line wires and the wires on the upper part will be the neutral wire okay so first we'll just connect the neutral wire to the neutral terminal right here there okay next we'll connect the line wire of each load so this will be connected to the number one switch here the second will be on the second 
line output terminal and lastly the third will be on the third line output terminal so there you go okay so just to recap our connection these are the line connections from our lighting load this is the line connection from our source and these are the neutral wires from our source and from our load okay so this time we'll power up our switch okay so we already turned on the power to our switch as you can see right here there the indicator light is already blinking there so um, it may not look clearer but the LED indicator lights of the switches here are already activated okay hindi nyo lang masyado makita gawa ng uh, camera and ng light ng uh, equipment natin so let's test this out okay let's, let's touch the first switch there that's the first switch the second and the third okay there you go so the indicator lights on this switch are work, working hindi nyo lang masyado makikita gawa ng bright brightness ng mga bulbs natin there so let's turn off the bulbs and turn it on again. Off. And on. So there you go. So that's the proper wiring of this smart wall switch to our lighting load. So we're done with the unboxing and quick wiring tutorial for this smart wall switch. For the next video, I'll show you how I actually replaced one of our old wall switch in our house with this smart wall switch then we'll explore the application that we'll be utilizing for this smart home device so just stay tuned for the next video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and make sure to hit that bell notification icon so you will be notified right away once i have successfully uploaded the next video don't forget to like share and comment your thoughts as always thank you very much for watching this is rlchd and i'll see you in the next video peace god bless